Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to try and figure out what's wrong with these four Bosch batteries. That's the goal of today. I have to really get in there, screw the sides off and take them apart and see what's happening. Batteries are all numbered. These are the four we're going to look at today. One, four, six and eight. Uh, these are ones that are still faulty. Um, we did two videos on this load of batteries before. We did a voltage check in the first one and some of them took a charge just from simply being a chargeable voltage they were okay uh, we recovered a couple more in the last video by using the B6 charger to recover the voltage in them these two two and seven uh, three just charged up on its own so did five Though there is a bit of cell imbalance, it's just not correct, it's just not right, but we'll get back to that in a later video. So that's why the numbers are on these, if you haven't watched the previous videos. And uh, this is the, we've actually got four going out of the eight, without taking a screw out, so that's pretty good. Um, we're going to start with number one. We have a very sophisticated chart that um, we um, used to record what we've been doing. This was the original voltage from the first video and the voltage recover video. Number one, DNT, it did not take. Number two is fixed, number three is fixed, number four did not take. Number five is fixed, but it's good cell imbalance. Uh, Eleven did not take. Number, uh, sorry, number six did not take. Um, it's 11 volts. Um, seven was fixed and eight, eight is actually, um, it actually charged up in the first video, but their cell, I think their cell problems with that one. But we'll ascertain that in this video. We've got to get this open first of all. We'll start off with number one. These Bosch batteries have a little security tab, much like the Makita ones have. But these have two on them, one on each side. You open them and take the sides off, um, rather than screw them apart from the bottom. So we've got to get those two out first before we... Before we start dismantling this battery, we use the same technique. It's uh, using an old wood screw, screwing it in, and pulling out a pair of pliers. Just any sort of sharp screw will do it. It's not um, nothing too sophisticated. It doesn't have to be a three inch long wood screw like I'm using here, but as long as it's got a point on it, you can screw it down in. I just find that the wood screws work very well for this. There it is, it came out handy. And we'll try the other side. These are anti tamper tabs that Bosch put in the batteries. So they know if you have a battery and you um you decided to look at it before you took it back for warranty or you decided to try and fix it, they'll know you've been messing around. So that's the idea behind that. So we'll get the sides off now and see what we can do. There's another couple here. They hold on pretty tight sometimes. There we are. One side off.
Right. That does look good. Anyway, we're um, what we're trying to ascertain from taking this apart is did the spot welds let go? Are there uh, cells that have failed? So we can do that. I'll use the big multimeter because there's a nice big screen on it. it might be better for you, the viewer, to see. Hopefully. So we'll go from uh, one side to the other here. I think we'll sell failure there. On that side, that front part. And we have 329 in that one. Three, oh, we're selling balls as well. We have a bit of everything in this one. 339. We have imbalance, we have field cells. Field. Field cells there too. So right, um, on this one, there's a bit of a, what I would call a disconnect here as well. That's not, that's not connected. We'll just see if there's any life in that cell. Sometimes if a cell lets go like that, or a spot weld lets go, it can cause a cell to fail, because it's, um, because it's uh, put more pressure in the connected cell. Let's see. No. Both have failed. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Hmm. So we better just we'll just mark what's what's wrong here. That cell's failed. That bank of cells is failed. So I'll put a bit of a marker on them. I'll put an X there and an X there. That those two banks of cells on each end have failed. That spot weld has let go. That is absolutely terrible. The bulb quality for Bosch now, you just need to do better than that Bosch. Sorry to have to tell you. That spot weld has let go completely. And it's barely holding on. Anyway, so we've established the first one has four bad cells. So we'll write that in our, our magical chart here. Four bad cells. That's bad writing, but anyway, it gets the point across. So moving on from number one. So moving on, we're at number four now, as you can see from the chart, that number two is fixed and number three is fixed and number four did not take to the uh, to the voltage recovery scenario. So again, we'll have to get her open, get the sides off. The same thing, a couple of security tabs. This one had 6.1 volts and we tried to get it to take a uh, take a voltage recovery from the B6 charger but it didn't work. Um, I, I think in the heart of hearts it's because there's field cells here. That could be one of the reasons. There could be another possible reason but we're not going to delve into that. We're just going to do cell, replace, or cell testing first to see what happens. Here we go. Again, from one side to the other. 2.23, that's not bad. There's a dead bank of cells right away. Too young. 2.66. 2.66. 2.66. 
2.64.55. Might be worth fixing, we'll see. Um, so we'll X, X that one. There's one dead bank of cells, so two bad cells in that one. So we'll move on from that one. We'll put it out to the one side and move on to the next one. Here we are. Um, two bad cells. This is the highlight to you as well that when you do sell our uh, voltage recovery, whether it's the right way, which I did there um, with the with the B6 charger in the last video, or it's connecting the old crude way with the uh, two wires from a good battery, it will not correct bad cells. It will not. So moving on to number six, it was the 11 volt that did not tick. So again, we'll get the sides off. So this one had 11 volts and like I say, like the rest of the four that's in this video, didn't recover uh, from the voltage uh, being low, being below chargeable voltage, which it is. So we always suspect the cells, cells are usually the thing when the voltage recover doesn't work. There we are. So we'll just give it a little check and see what is actually going on with this one as well. So here we go. First bank is good. Second bank's not far away either. Um, we're in the same voltage. Balance so far. Um, this this bank's bad. This one's bad. And there's a bit of disconnect there in that bank too, look at that. It's letting go. But anyway, we'll check if the cells are alright. Now there's two bad banks of cells in that one. That's why it's only 11 volts. Um, this one's bad and this one's bad. So that's why that's 11 volts. We have six good cells in that and that one is a, that's a 4 amp. We should be able to fix that one. Uh, this needs four cells, which can be done. And so just uh, go to the sophisticated chart here again. Four bad cells. There's nothing new, it's kind of as we expected. Um, we'll move on to number eight now. Number eight, field under charge. Um, we got it up to over 17 volts. I'll just do a quick, I'll do a quick check. It's sitting about 16 and a half here now, so it's higher than it was. It, it gained a bit of volt since we it touched down here in the doctor's surgery. It uh, got up to chargeable. It was a chargeable voltage. It was sitting at 14, sorry, 15.5, uh, which is chargeable voltage. I put it on the charge. It started to charge. And notice the heat that one sided, which means their cells away the set their cells that overheated and failed. I can't remember what side it's on, but it's one of the end banks. I'm predicting there's two bad cells in that. There we are. 
this is the battery open now um 16 and a half volts and we think because i felt the heat from the outside of the pack when i was charging the charger i wanted to fail to charge i started charging then failed when i was on the bus charger these spot welds are not good from Bosch. Look, that's letting go as well. Look at that. Some of the spot welds that Bosch are doing in these batteries are not good. If one of them lets go, the battery's destined to fail because these are in pairs and they're dependent on each other. support hold up under pressure and when one lets go if it's all run under more pressure and then it fails themselves anyway 4.16 full voltage there 4.16 full voltage there 4.16 if i'm right the one the cell bank closest to me will have failed I'll try and get a good connection here, just to see the rest of them's all good. No, that that bank has failed, so it's the end bank that has failed, as suspected uh, from my original thoughts. It's that eighth one. These two, I just knew before opening it that that's what would happen. That because. That's how cells sometimes feel. You, they just overheat because they're knackered. They're, they overheat on their charging. You'll pop them very quickly like that when you're using the jump start method. Our number eight back together. I'll put that to one side and we'll write down what's wrong with it. Two bad cells. Two bad cells. That's okay. Um, so the four batteries have the same same issue it looks like three my writing is atrocious was that even fake internet doctors have bad writing all doctors have bad writing um so the first one the eight amp needs four needs four of samsung 40 t 21700 cells the six amp hour which is this one number four that needs two three thousand milliamp samsung 30q cells these cells will be hard to come by. Um, the other two are four amps. That's four bad cells and two bad cells. Uh, so I need six of 2,000 milliamp cells. And I will have ones that I can reclaim from old packs here and get them two going, no trouble at all. The two, the six amp and the eight amp is going to be difficult. I'm going to have to get creative. I'm going to fix them. That's kind of a problem for another video though. Um, this is sort of coming to the end of this one. That's that's really I know everything about these batteries that I can. I might explore this one and the next one. That might be the next one I do. This uh, this five amp. This hasn't been opened at all yet, and I'm suspecting that it's got cell imbalance because it's not just achieving its full full potential, even though it's recovered. So if you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.